How did they know I was coming? Uh, <laughs> don't believe everything you read. No. Back to the September meeting of Disney. Um, it's nice to see a good turnout for our first meeting in the fall. And um, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Marty Jones. I'm the current president, but not much longer. And we have some other board members here. If they could stand and introduce themselves, starting with Ralph. That's Ralph. <laughs> Other board members? All right, it's because of those folks that all stood up that this organization exists and continues to exist, but we'll get into that. Where are you from? Uh, Joe Rainer from Mashland. All right, and also where are you from? Cambridge. Cambridge, thank you. <laughs> Taught photography at, remind me? Worcester, Worcester State College. Worcester State College. Thank you. We've lost some members, but we're also hoping to gain some members as well. And I remain optimistic, so. Um, with that being said and done, membership report, do you have anything to report? Joe? So the directory was published in uh, May, and uh, it was mailed out, I forgot exactly when. And within, it was in June, because I got mine right before a June meeting. Okay. Within a week of it mailing out, I started getting people telling me their addresses were wrong in the directory. So, in the last snapshots, I sent out a uh, update, and this is the most recent update to the directory. So, I'll leave these out here, and at the break, you can come pick up the directory if you didn't get one, or if you just want to have an extra one uh, for whatever reason. And the uh... our show is happening October 24th and 25th. It's the 72nd show Excellent. that we've had. And boy, I think I remember like 25, right? Right. Sounds like, yeah. It's been that long. Yeah. We have dates already picked up for show 73 and 74, so we'll continue to at least another year. Can you share those? No, I'm not going to share them. <laughs> Next year, 2010. We're focusing on the, on the now and the present. It's going to be in Wakefield, as it's been the last three years. And we're always looking for a few good people. We're going to take some of the bad people to help us out. You know, we're going to send around some brochures the sign-up sheets were voluntary. I can't remember if it was 6 or 6.30. I think it's we'll, we'll 6.30. Announce it. We'll announce it. 6.30, let's say. Is it on the flyer right behind you? No, no it might be. 6.30, right? You think? 6.30. 6.30. 30. So we have a nice room. It's right at the, the Wakefield facility. Uh, Marty will be one of the auctioneers, probably, for sure. And uh, many others will show up. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of fun for everybody. It's nice to see what things go for. We have 200 items already, we will have some more, and that's plenty. And then in February we have a member's auction, that's the other auction we do. And Hi, I'm Ruth Tomasian, and I'm co-editor of our Photographic Historical Society of New England Journal, along with Adrian Lebeck. Will you? Okay. Adrian does the photos, he's in charge of the quality of the photos and everything about the photos, and I do the words. And uh, so we're, we now have a table of contents on the computer that's been graphically designed, and we have some great articles coming up. Several of our authors, two of our authors are here today. Uh, Russ Carter, who is Russ, is our World War II photographer. And I wrote a piece on um, the adoration of Lenin. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. The slate for the election will be as follows. John Wolowitz, who will be our nominee for the presidency. We have Lou Riegelman, who will be our vice president. We have Adrian Levesque, who will be our treasurer. And we have Alan Goodrich, who will be our secretary. The uh, members at large will be determined uh, in November. No, we can't leave that out. Uh, the upcoming meetings, um, October, and you'll, you'll read all about this in the, in the upcoming snapshots, our October meeting is going to be uh, here, as we will usually call our meetings, and it's going to pe feature Professor uh, Patricia Fanning from Bridgewater State College, who has published a very nice <coughs> book on uh, Fred Holland Day. And again, if you're familiar with the Norwood Historical Society, you know that's the Fred Holland Day House, but you're also aware that he was a major figure in the photo secession and also a major publisher of uh, <coughs> progressive or I've got uh, poetry. Yeah. Oh yeah, great to be back here again, and uh, hope everybody had a good summer. Had something to show and tell us. 
um, is, is the custom. I'll start on the side in the back. But I have in my grubby little hands a Canon EF. And you say, well, what's so unique about that Canon EF camera? I didn't even notice it until I got the bloody thing home. Some wag lost the rewind knob. And said wag drilled a hole through a quarter <laughs> and silver soldered the quarter onto the rewind shaft. A rewind knob costing about eight dollars and a half from Canon plus postage. The quarter costing two bits plus a little bit of solder. And the farmer happens to be that Canon is a little while back you could buy cameras very cheap. Here is volume one, number one, of the Shutterbug ads. And that was put out in February 1971. There's not anything else on here that doesn't say Polaroid. This whole camera says Polaroid, just like any other ordinary 104 would. There is nothing in the box that says anything different. This little flash came in. Is this the right flash that come with it? Yeah, it's an M3 firepower. Okay. Now, the difference and I emailed this man that's got this site, and he didn't email me back, so I don't think he knew the answer. But I also asked the members of the International Directory of Camera Collectors if they take a shot at trying to identify this. And here's what it says. Polaroid, automatic, wild fall land camera, military set with flash gun. It is an enigma to me. If these are uh, Hermagus lenses, and I suspect it's, it was a camera that was either Hermagus camera or made for Hermagus. Um, and it's beautifully made. I mean, it's got classic French dovetailing and all that stuff, and beautiful uh, metalwork. Um, it is wet plate. There's a little bit of rot in the, uh, in the uh, holders, and that is the mystery. Holders, plural. Why a wet plate camera would have two, count them two, Stereo holders is beyond me. I was privileged 61 years ago with giving this as a birthday present. And it's still the original one. Unbelievable. I've used it for 10 years before I joined Polaroid. I joined Polaroid in 1958. And I uh, didn't even know I'd be involved in what kind of projects I ended up doing. But uh, I have to really, really give a lot of credit to the gentleman who really made this possible. And if it wasn't for him, we'd have nothing in this instant photography. At this shareholders meeting, Dr. Land passed out little magnifiers in a little envelope and he turned around and says, okay, I want you shareholders to see how sharp the film is. And it was, because you work with a large piece of negative. You work with a large piece of negative, you can capture everything. Six, it would be nice to yeah. bring here. That's cool. <laughs> On behalf of Disney, thank you very much. It was a great presentation. Well, I hope so. I <laughs>